I've just solved a long running mount problem with these handy add-ons. Hey folks, my name's Steve and welcome to Scotia Astro. Crappy weather and regular rain showers makes it really tough for UK Astro folks like me and sometimes I need to move my gear inside quickly to avoid the wet stuff. Thankfully iOptron have produced a solid solution with their mini peer range and in this quick review video I'll show you the two options that I have, how they fit on the tri-peer and how they've helped me move my gear around with minimal fuss. I have to set up and break down my gear after each session because I can't risk leaving it unattended overnight so I need to be able to move my equipment around quickly and as easily as possible. My two main imaging mounts are the Skywatcher AZ EQ6 GT Pro and this Ioptron Sim 70G, which are both pretty beefy bits of kit in their own right. I've got both of them plopped on their own Ioptron tripeers, which also adds a fair bit of additional heft to my setups. I can certainly take their weight when carrying them, but it's awkward to get a proper grip and they're pretty top heavy when assembled together. That's where the mini peers come to the rescue. Ioptron do a variety of these tripeer adapters to fit a whole host of mounts from many of the popular brands like Skywatcher, Celestron, Paramount and Astrophysics, as well as their own range. I purchased the tripeer adapter for Skywatcher mounts, which is a perfect match for my AZ EQ6 GT Pro, and I also have the mini peer adapter here which goes with my Sim 70 g The adapters are well made with a high quality finish and a nice matte black. They're light in the hand but feel very solid, so I'm really confident that there'll be a stable link between my mounts and my tripeers. Each version has its own set of screw holes to fit its specific mount and tripod combo, and they're super easy and very quick to fit. Using my SEM 70 g as an example, I just needed to unscrew the bolts that originally held the mount and tripeer together, and then I carefully removed my mount. Next, I put the mini peer in position and lined it up with the screw holes on the top plate of the tripeer, and then I securely fastened it. Last job was putting the SEM70 back on the mini pier and once again lining up the matching screw holes and tightening it down. After attaching them to my tri piers, I can now easily grip two of the supporting posts to hoist up the whole mount and move it into position. Another great benefit of these tri pier adapters is the added height that it gives to my mounts. With some of my longer scopes, like the Bresser AR127L refractor, it's nice to have a bit more clearance around the tripod legs to make sure there's no chance of collisions with the scopes pointing high. Struggling to move my heavy mounts around is now a thing of the past, thanks to these handy adapters from my Optron. It's no exaggeration to say that they've been a game changer for me in my imaging situation. Anything that helps me set up and break down quickly to take advantage of the sporadic clear nights that we have in the UK is a winning product in my opinion. The only real downside is their cost, and they certainly are pricey for what they are. That's a common thing in the astro world though, but for me the cost is worth it to get more time out under the stars. So that's my quick look at these brilliant peer adapters from my Optron. Have you used any of this range or have you tried anything different with your own mounts? Please share your experiences in the description below, I'd love to hear them. Thanks so much for tuning in and I hope you all have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. Clear skies to you all.